demonstration. And it's a Urasen Keryu. There are uh, various types of schools. Uh, this ceremony, Chado. Chado is different from Sencha or other uh, tea. It's a style. And uh, Chado, the one that we're going to do, Chado, was, they call it Chado. Long time ago, it was Chanoyu. But it became Chado. Go means training, discipline. So this is a tea ceremony. We enjoy the tea, but at the same time, we train ourselves. So it's a training of our mind, being together with the tea, serving tea, as well as training our mind based on the Buddhism uh, uh, discipline. Uh, and mainly, it's most people are familiar with Zen. So a lot of things are stem from Zen, but it also incorporates uh, other mitro or uh, uh, other types of religious philosophies. It's not religion, but the whole idea is based on the, the Buddhism uh, teaching. And uh, right in the middle, there's a scroll, Wak Ke Se Jaku. It says in writing, four uh, characters. Wak means harmony. K is respect. Se is purity. And Jaku is tranquility. That's what we try to aim to accomplish, uh, train ourselves to practice them, as well as making the tea. In order to make a good tea, we need to observe these. That's what the founders taught, and we believe that too. Uh, I will talk along uh, as the ceremony goes, and I think they are ready. So let me introduce them. We have uh, Shokyaku. Uh, Omura uh, uh, Kanaesa, and then we have the hostess, Uteres Mirez. What's your name? What's your name? Sokets. Yeah, she's a company, so she has a, a professional name, Sokets Uteres. She's been studying the tea for a long time. And then we have cute little assistant. Uh, Sophia, and that's her name, Armstrong. Okay, she's very, very good, interested in tea. All right, so these are the people who will present to you a tea ceremony. Can you see? I know you can see. Can you see, hear me? Okay. All right, go ahead, go to it. Is The tea room is prepared way before. Uh, if you are going to planning to have a tea gathering, the hostess spends many times thinking about how to welcome the, the guest. And they, they usually they have a theme like this is going to be a birthday party, or this is going to be a New Year, or this is going to be a, a summer, whatever the th theme is. She's, uh, the hostess will start gathering uh, items that will uh, give the message of that theme. So, they are well thought of arrangements. They are cleaned and they are placed nicely. Hi, Dodo. Is this you? Dodo, Dodo. Hi, Dodo. So the, get, uh, the hostess enters, bowing is a gesture to express respect, respect to each other. Remember respect. Wa, K, K is a respect. Wa is a harmony. Harmony means have a nice peaceful gathering and we try to aim for that. How do we do that? Okay, so what it 
Why also harmony of utensils, harmony of people, harmony of things that we use. Uh, even the kimono has to be uh, uh, harmonious. So everything that we could think of, we try to practice. Practice the teaching is Zen teaching. Zen is you hear something and you practice that. That's what it is. Uh, um, I don't think other, uh, maybe, uh, schools, they might just hear it, read it, and that's what you learn. But in Zen or Urasenke, we practice what we hear, what we learn. So uh, that's the difference between the chado. Okay. So bowing is the expression of respect. What she or hostess is doing now is she is purifying. Remember the third or the second word at the top on the left is say. Say is purity. Purity of your mind, purity of uh, utensils. So she is, even the utensils are all clean before, she is performing the cleaning procedure. She is cleaning every item. Now she is cleaning the tea scoop. I think she's uh, cleaned the tea caddy, which is the red wooden kinte lacquer container, natsume. The tea scoop is chasaku. And then the one that she put on is chasen. Chasen is a whisk. They're all handmade, one of its kind. And every one of them, when, you, when they make, they have to have skills in order to do that. Now she's going to clean the bowl. We learned where to put things exactly, where to, how to handle, where to hold. That is, I mean, there are so much, so much uh, uh, formalities but they are well thought out formalities. There's no waste of movement. From one movement to another, there's no waste of movement. Uh, if, she, if you see something that is unusual, maybe she's making mistakes. So far, she's doing a good job. <laughs> so now she is checking the whisk, make sure that the whisk point is okay, it's not bent, and the next group is coming, <laughs> sorry. All right, so she's, that's the tea whisk. It's from one bamboo, and they are slit in 80 slits, or some are 100, and they're all handmade. Now she cleaned the teacup and she's wiped in the white cloth. White cloth is called chakin. Chakin. Chak means tea, kin is cloth. Chakin. When she wipes a wet item, she uses the chakin. When she uh, wipes the dry things, like natsume, she or chashaku, uh, she uses the red cloth. That's called uh, uh, fukusa. fukusa. And they all have, you cannot just use any old fukusa, or any cloth. It has to be exactly the right size to be used at the Urasenke uh, school. There is a Urasenke, Omotesenke, and uh, uh, Yabunochi. There are many, many, and they are little different from one another. The place where she put places, things have to be exactly where we were taught. Because if you put it somewhere else, then each time you will Puzzle. Where should I put it? 
but you might have a mistake, and then you drop it. So to avoid these embarrassing situations, everything is minutely taught and we learn, and it becomes part of us, so we automatically could do all these things precisely. That's what we are aiming for. Now, she so put the green poverty. I'm sure you are familiar with green poverty. Uh, matcha latte, I'm sure you have heard. And a lot of things, cakes and whatnot have matcha. Matcha is uh, ground uh, tea leaves. They're just ground into fine, fine powder. And when you drink, consume it, it's a concentrated green leaves. Nothing is added. So you are uh, consuming the whole thing, 100% of uh, tea. Now tea is ready. And she picks it up properly so she doesn't drop it. And she turns the bowl clockwise two times so that the beautiful design will be facing the guest and they respect each other by bowing. So this name, they respect each other harmoniously, peacefully, and they are harmoniously, peacefully, and in the peaceful with a pure heart, in a quiet manner, you enjoy the moment of drinking tea together. That's the whole aim of the tea circle. That's all to it. But there are so many things to accomplish that, and that's what we try to aim. Uh, we take lessons, all, and not particularly lessons, training, all our life. You keep on thinking about what is what, what is cake. It means so many things at different, at different uh, uh, point of view, point of uh, uh, occasion. So you keep on thinking. The tea is now served and consumed. And uh, the hostess does not just put everything, grab everything down because she's through. No, she's going to go through the ritual of cleaning all the utensils that she uh, used and put them back the way they were at the beginning. So if somebody comes, five minutes later, she'll be ready for another serving of the tea. So she is cleaning, purifying again. She's purifying each utensil that she used. Just the way she brought them out. And you do it very carefully because each item is one of its kind. And if you drop it, there's no more. So you have to be very careful in handling the tea bowl, tea caddy, every one of the things. They are all one of its kind. She's cleaning the uh, tea scoop, cha sha -ku. Usually, chashaku is made by the hostess or host and uh, uh, with a lot of thought to go with it. And therefore, they give some names and it makes that simple little uh, bamboo scoop something that is personal because it has a name, it has meaning. So, you have tea scoop that means uh, meeting again. So maybe it's an occasion when you um, welcome somebody who came back from a long journey or something of that nature. Or maybe to express good luck, long life, longevity, uh, matsu or kotobuki. They all have different names to signify the thought of the host or hostess. Now she replenished the water she used. 
and she cleaned everything. So she gets to uh, uh, the whole, uh, the guest might like to look at some of the utensils. Uh, she's only watching from the far distance. So sometimes you like to go closer and take a look. So a lot of times hostess will give a chance for the guests to come closer later on to look at the beautiful items. She's cleaning the top of the lid. She's checking to be sure that there's no powder. No powder at the edge. And she closes back and turns. So the front will be facing the receiver. You don't just hand things in any old way. You try to hand things facing the person, front facing the person who is receiving. The lacquer uh, tea caddy is uh, red. Uh, lacquer tea caddy has certain uh, uh, designs on them, and uh, this one is historical. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I will name it Saika because I know some people. I see you, I see you every day, every year at this cherry blossom. They always come to Saikai that must meet again. I hope to see you again, all of you. Meet again, Saikai. Okay. That concludes, but uh, they will come and say thank you to you all for your attention, waiting for a long time. She has to take back some of the things. She still has things that she needs to remove from her area. She carries the table from left to bottom and support it with the right side, right hand supporting the table. So it doesn't drop, it doesn't tip over. That's how you uh, hold the table. Left on the bottom, right hand supporting the side. Now she brought back the tin container. That is the wastewater container, Kensui. Thank you for your attention. Good job, everybody. Dojo. Arigato. Dojo. It is your. And then the guest will go back to the items that she would like to remember. So you are allowed, when the, the hostess is gone, before uh, you leave, or the guest leaves, she usually goes back to the things that she would like to see them again. Thank you very much. We'll have the music.